Oh my God, look at these. We are not going to know ourselves. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Fred here from Clooney Garage. Even says so on the shirt. All good. Anyways, long anticipated episode today. We've talked about doing up our 500 horsepower engine for a long time, and we've been waiting on some bits. Well, some bits have arrived. So we're obsessed with cams and heads here at Clooney Garage when we build our race motors. And we all know what doggy old LS heads look like. There's some old LS ones there. Anyway, we had to go get some CNC ported heads, so have a look what Mr. Higgins has provided here. Oh my goodness. Now these are an exchange unit with Higgins. You send in your heads, and you get a set of these CNC ported heads. So I'll take you through everything to do with this, as well as the new camshaft that's rocked up. And we've got the specs and we'll go through all that. But first of all, I start with the, um, the deck of the heads here. We've had 30 thou taken off. And that's about as much as we want to go with the compression that we're going to run. It's going to be a huge upgrade to the standard compression. <clears throat> but the biggest benefit you get from CNC ported heads is exactly that. Look at the uh, inside of our domes here. It's all been CNC ported and polished. And that's going to make a hell of a lot more flow. And they flow um, a heap more. I'll put the description below in terms of the sort of flow increases we're expecting to get. But um, yeah, I mean... And LS heads actually flow pretty well compared to old cast sort of you know, holding heads and that. But these are a serious step up in the game too. So let's flip these rounds so you can get a full in-depth look. We'll start on the intake runners here. You can see they've been done as well. All inside the, with the rectangle ports, obviously, not the cathedrals. And from memory, yeah, these are the 823 casting heads as well. So this is all being cleaned up in here as well. Flip it over to the exhaust side. And they've been done too. Hopefully I'm getting enough light in there so you can see. Some beautiful CNC machine work there from Higgins Heads. And we're pretty happy about that. And they give you a bit of a stamping on the outside there. And the work that still needs to get done obviously. Is we're going to lap all our little valves in. So I've just taken them out just temporarily. I'm going to lap them in and make sure everything fits. But we'll do all that when it's time for the assembly. So we're pretty excited by that. We thought we'd take you back in time a little bit when we actually took the other heads off. As you can sort of see the disassembly procedure and what it looked like when we took these off. So everyone's probably seen our L77 that we got out of a, um, a written off VE. And this is for our ute as well. But um, we've got a few updates here, Frankie, starting with the heads, and then I'll let you talk about the other upgrade. So what's happening with the heads? Well, we've got to whip these heads off and get them down to Higgins in uh, Melbourne. We're going to do some uh, CNC portings and lap our valves in and give us some uh, um, valve springs that'll cope with 6,000 lift, <laughs> 600 thou lift um, camshafts. Yep. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of fun, and they should come back all nice and shiny and, uh, and perform a little better. Yeah. Well, these, these heads stock are actually pretty good, but yeah, the Higgins heads, they do flow even better, so that'll be good. But as Frankie mentioned, we could do some serious work with our um, in preparation for our cam. But the other thing is uh, the old trillion upgrade, Frankie. Well, that's right. Um, we don't want a, a trillion falling apart. Um, they um, have a habit of dropping hardened steel roller bearings through your motor, and that's not really what we want while um, mucking around at a, a track no. on full noise. So only bad things can happen if we leave them on and for $300 yep. it's a, uh, a nice little bit of insurance and uh, an easy upgrade for us. Righto, so we'll take you through what we're doing how we're getting the heads off. Frankie's going to get the um, the factory headers off. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a beautiful piece of artwork there. Then we'll go inlet manifold um, and then obviously pull our heads off and they're an exchange unit so you send your heads away and you get probably a different set of heads back but we'll keep going and we'll show you when we're done. All right, Frankie, so inlet manifold. All these little um, 8 mil nuts. Yep. And when you take all those guys off, obviously mm -hmm. your um, PCV. PCV. And, and all that rubbish is in yep. the way. Now, and this then... car was out in the elements, so let's see what's... Holy snapping. 
croc shit. Look at that. There's some bugs in there, aren't there's there? There's some bugs and in the valley and... and... Holy do isn't it amazing? Like, that was obviously down and look at all this crap. Hmm. I'm guessing this is a displacement on demand, horrible little valley yeah, cover. Yeah, we've got a replacement for that. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's keep going, but I didn't expect to see that. All right, Frankie, so we've just uh, covered up our inlet holes there. And you got the rocker cover. Got a few uh, locusts uh, yep. bugs out of there. And just got a little screwdriver on that. Here's our, uh, Here's our rocker rockers. cover off. Neat little things. All our trinions look like they're um, they all look intact. intact. Nothing's falling apart. Very clean and tidy. So the trinions are just obviously in here, Frankie. Yeah. And that's where roll apart. Yep. And that's the bit we're going to upgrade. And yep. Now they look pretty good. There's nothing, nothing dangerous at the top there, is there? No, they're in very nice condition. So happy awesome. about that. All right, let's pull the other side off. All right, Frankie, you got the other side off. We'll obviously, we'll replace those gasket seals as well. Hmm. This side also looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, very nice. Nothing loose there. Wouldn't exactly eat your breakfast off it, but um, no. very sanitary nonetheless. No, all good. This, this motor continues to surprise us, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. All good. All right, we'll keep going. All right, so for any disassembly process, Frankie, the good thing is to be organised backs, box bag and tag, and that's what we're doing here with our rockers. We're just going to pull those little guys off. What are you using there, an 8mm? Yeah, the 8mm, tiny little um, bolts holding them on. Yeah. And obviously some of those um, some of those rockers were under tension. Yeah, you're supposed to rotate the motor and take the um, yeah. uh, compression there, get the uh, the base circle of the cam C on each one. We've already got these guys off. So I'll let Frankie keep going, we'll come back. All right, Frankie, that little rocker. And we're going to put her in there. Just like a bought one. Yeah, these are little trillions or we'll press out in a little vice and yep. we'll replace those. All right. You keep boxing away, Father Christmas. Thanks, mate. So, Frankie, we're probably going to go with some hardened chromoly push rods anyway, so we'll, we'll keep these anyways as spares, but um, we won't be using these little guys. Yeah, I think um, we'll have to measure the new push rod length and um, they might be a, a little bit um, longer or shorter. I'm guessing they're shorter if we mill the uh, face of the heads. Yep. All right, we'll keep going. All right, Freddy, Frankie, not Freddy, I'm Fred. Let's pull this head off. No oh, worries, the big reveal. Yeah. Oh, gaskety there, Mr. Gasket. Those heads don't look too bad, they're a bit carbony. Hmm, well, that's what you sort of expect, isn't it? A little bit of um, carbon, but yeah. not coked up to the max, so. But what we don't have is cracked heads or a cracked deck or anything like that, which is good. Yeah, pistons look good. Pistons look okay. And then nothing down in the lifter trays. We'll have a good look at those in a second. Well, all right, a bit of Clooney uh, garage mechanic work there. Young Frankie pulling those heads off. He did a good job and didn't do too much damage. That was all good, but that was the basis of us actually taking those heads back into, into Higgins and getting these beautiful items here. So the next upgrade we did, and Mackenzie's barking at God knows what out there, is our Brian Tooley camshaft. Now we've gone with uh, an extreme custom version here. Let's do a bit of a little unboxing here on Clooney Garage. That is it. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so lumpy. Let's pull it out. So that's the Wonder Stick. And it's a little bit, you know, obviously it's a custom ground cam. And without the specs, it's not much use. It just looks like a lumpy old thing. Um, and that's the start of the, the model numbers and all the rest of it. But let's have a look at the the actual specifications here which I've got in the box and the good thing about a cam upgrade on these engines too is that the ones that come in the old 77s they're pretty pretty lazy but have a look at this I'm going to give you guys a good opportunity and girls to have a good opportunity to have a look at all the specs here so it's a Brian Tooley Racing custom road race camshaft so as you can imagine Frankie and I didn't want this drag racing cam that makes all its power at certain levels under boosted applications this is a circuit racing cam to take our uh, nascar ute out on the racetrack so let's start on the the intake so the main the main data points you want to look at here is obviously our lift 603 on the intake 235 duration 
and we've got where's the LSA 113 so very different to Clooney's camshaft and then in the exhaust again we're running a rocker of 1.7 on these things but 599 valve lift 250 duration on the exhaust and that's what she looks like so hopefully you've had a chance to read all that put some comments below in terms of the specifications and what you think of it um, it's going to be so different to the standard cam that's in this and we might list the standard factory cam settings for an L77 as well just for a bit of background purposes so the plan is is that we're going to um, take all this stuff into Gentech including our block and actually start the assembly process because that's where all the fun starts and we're sort of hoping that the ute with the new cam might sound something like this all right so what's happening next with the ute uh, we're going to actually take the ute into jacks tomorrow now the coilovers are fitted we're going to get our wheel alignment done on the front probably going to look at getting some bushes in the front too and we're going to investigate around the sway bars and what they say um, but the other big thing is getting some diff cradle bushes in the back here because these things are notorious and we've actually had a new diff center in this thing but i'm thinking that we're definitely going to be needing our rear diff bush cradles that they normally fag out this car's done 150,000 clicks too so yep you don't want that so anyway we'll get on to that that's a job for me and frankie tomorrow um, but I'll tell you what, we're getting seriously motivated about building this engine now that our components are starting to rock up. Um, you know, these heads, we just can't stop looking at them. They're just so beautiful. And it's going to make a huge amount of difference. So we're hoping that the previous engine combination did you know, 280 odd rear wheel kilowatts. We're hoping with this brand new freshened up L77 with our CNC ported heads, with our new camshaft from Brian Tooley, we're hoping, you know, with more compression and a few other little things we're going to do with the tune as well. We're going to retain our, um, our intake manifold. Might actually get a bigger throttle body. But we're thinking that, you know, 350, 360 rear wheel kilowatts might be in our realm of possibility. And that'll be a handful on the track. It's already a handful now the way it stands, but that's because the thing didn't um, have any suspension. But that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Sue's going to put Frankie and me to the limits, but... Um, that's what this channel's all about and learning things you can do, doing mods yourself and all this stuff we do apart from the tuning and some of the real hardcore stuff at Gentech, but you can do all this stuff yourself if you've got some tools and are halfway handy. On that note, I'm going to get busy, got a heap of stuff to do tonight, so thanks for watching, talk soon.